said the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the only place to see Marvel characters come alive beautifully. That is completely unfair. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Marvel TV shows. For this list, we're looking at all the television series that have stemmed from the pages of Marvel Comics and are ranking them based on their popularity, critical reception, and overall impact on pop culture. Do you have any children? No, I don't. Good. Because I would have to kill them too. Number 10. Wolverine and the X-Men As the X-Men's fourth animated television adaptation, this incarnation added an interesting distinction by placing everyone's favorite yellow spandex-wearing superhero at center stage. Be gentle. Yeah, right. Oh! The first scratch is always the most painful. So now you can relax. Having no connections to its predecessors, the show boldly begins with an explosion that results in the disappearance of the team's father figure and leader. Don't be alarmed, Logan. We're still at the Institute. But this is what you might call a meeting of the minds on the astral plane. This unexpected event causes the X-Men to disband, only to reunite under a new adamantium-clawed commander when the government declares a war against mutants. Though longtime fans and critics applauded it, Wolverine and the X-Men only lasted one season. <laughs> Number 9. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> After the mega-success of The Avengers, Disney execs scrambled back to the studio for television tie-ins to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I saw... Jordan... hitting that game-winner over Russell in the 98 Finals. Centered on the titular agents, led by the, spoiler alert, thought-to-be-dead Agent Coulson, this breakthrough sci-fi slash superhero drama takes just a few steps back from the explosions and adrenaline-rushing visuals to get more intimate with characters. Rogers even spent a few weeks here after he defrosted. Okay, but who's it supposed to keep safe? The people with powers or everyone else? Both. Bringing in the big hitter organizations from all of Marvel, including the sinister Hydra and the Inhumans, the show has become a blockbuster hit for the small screen. While we tip our hats to the Atomic Age Agent Carter, the win goes to S.H.I.E.L.D. for its stronger action, cinematic direction, and balanced team-based dynamic. I could have talked him in if you didn't put an unsolicited tracker under his skin. If you didn't call to alert him, then we Why wasn't I told? We thought you were a little close to the situation. Number 8. Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends The only thing more amazing than a web-slinging superhero is a web-slinging superhero teamed with a generator of ice and a heroin manipulator of fire. Forming the Spider Friends, this cartoon saw Spider-Man and the X-Men's Iceman, as well as newcomer Firestar, join forces after meeting his classmates in the fictitious Empire State University. Against Spider-Man and his friends, grab the alloy! Aired alongside the Hulk's first animated series, the show's featured narration by none other than the man himself, Stan Lee. Lightwave and her unknown master have different plans for the mighty satellite and for the Spider Friends as well. Airing for three seasons, Spider-Man and his amazing friends featured a wide variety of familiar Marvel storylines, heroes, and even original villains created specifically for the show making it one of Marvel's finest earlier endeavors for television. This is a robbery! Everybody freeze or you get gas bombed! Did I hear the word freeze? <laughs> Number 7. The Incredible Hulk you again. Elena, we've got to try! All right, what happens if we tap into this hidden strength? What happens? I don't know! I don't know. Starring Bill Bixby as Dr. Banner, and Lou Ferrigno in Green Beast Mode, 
This marked the first, and to date the only, form of media where two separate actors portray the Hulk. Dr. Banner himself has... <laughs> Brilliantly written with themes of desperation, isolation, and of course emotion, the show ran for five seasons on CBS before being picked up by NBC for a film trilogy serving as the show's final acts. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Keeping its pulse vital through syndicated runs on numerous networks, this adaptation may be the oldest live-action Marvel show on our list, but it remains a smashing classic to this day. Closer. Get a close-up. Unbelievable. Number 6. Spider-Man Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. As one of two television shows that served as Marvel's initial endeavors into storytelling media outside comics, this was the show that helped launch Spider-Man and his arch-enemies to their present-day prominence and glory. <laughs> Initially airing on ABC, the show's limited lifespan was due to escalating budget problems, forcing production to recycle footage and scrap narratives considered too expensive to animate. Typical teenagers. The minute there's any work to do, they go gallivanting off. Nevertheless, the show was an instant hit that boosted comic sales and encouraged merchandise production for the hero. Also, let's not forget the cheesy but classic theme song that has since become as synonymous with Spidey as his suit. Life is a great big hang-up. Wherever there's a hang-up, you'll find the Spider-Man. Number 5. Spider-Man The Animated Series Yeah, yeah, more Spider-Man. But what can we say? He's a great character. Considered one of the best animated shows of its time, this series breathed new life into Spidey for every superhero aficionado and or child of the 90s. It's no use! There are too many of them! Reaching unexpected heights with ratings, the animated series was one of the earliest Marvel properties to spawn its own sub-franchise, with merchandise ranging from action figures to video games to comics. My holocubes! I told you to store them somewhere else! Originally aired during the height of Fox Kids' Saturday morning lineup, the show is now unsurprisingly syndicated on Disney's children's networks, drawing in nostalgic and newcomer fans of all ages. At this very moment, I've begun an operation which will exterminate that wall-crawling vermin forever! Spider-Man is finished! Number 4. Jessica Jones As one of the two initial Netflix titles created for the MCU, and don't worry, we'll get to the other one soon, Jessica Jones was the underdog name that soared to unanticipated peaks after its premiere. It's a knockout! Starring Kristen Ritter as the eponymous super strong and flying heroine turned private detective, this show's deviant take on the superhero genre throws darker elements of psychological thriller and neo-noir into the mix. New York may be the city that never sleeps, but it sure does sleep around. Receiving widespread acclaim for its acting, mature approach, and grim subjects, Jessica Jones' name may not be as prestigious as some of her Marvel peers, but that's guaranteed to change soon thanks to this show. You are a sight to behold. Isn't she amazing? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Number 3. The Avengers – Earth's Mightiest Heroes Let's do a head count. They've got a god of thunder, a legendary super soldier, a tech-savvy billionaire, a skilled hunter-tracker, an omnipotent idealist with, shall we say, vision, a superwoman marvel, a couple of underestimated size shifters, a master marksman, a hyper-intelligent acrobatic assassin, and, oh yeah, a Hulk. You would not harm me, would you? Nay. <laughs> but my friend might. Debuting two years prior to the release of their first live-action film, 
Earth's Mightiest Heroes were already kicking ass in the new Marvel Universe for television, long before the epic confrontation with Loki and the Chitauri. Avengers, take him down! <laughs> Originally a micro-series, the show was picked up for full-length episodes and story arcs after a spike in popularity, and went on to spawn new ongoing comic titles and a replacement series. Sorry you came all the way back from the dead to chalk up another loss, Skull. Perhaps... perhaps not. <laughs> Number 2. X-Men The Animated Series Stack the ball, Cajun. Perhaps the only thing more awesome than this classic series was its catchy and marvelous theme. Introducing the heroes to virtually every human being of the 90s. This animated series is considered the show that brought both the X Men and Marvel to their first colossal peaks in pop culture. What is that, X Men? No, it's. <laughs> what, I don't know X Men when I see it? It's a great issue, wasn't it? You read X Men? Do I read X Men? Gorgeously drawn and written with epic narratives, the mutants, whether heroes or villains, were the forces to be reckoned with during their time. Now, with all your strength, yes! I see wins! Storm! It was unquestionably Marvel's crowning jewel for television, surpassed only by one recent live action hit, but it's still our top pick for the company's best animated show. With faint heart, averted feet, and many a tear, in our opposed path to persevere. A minor poet for a minor obstacle. Before we flip the channel to our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hey! Stop babying me, sis! I could outrun that bilge bucket. Sorry, little brother. <laughs> We're moving too slow. Spread a little more sunshine, would you? I'm a weather witch, not a snowplow. I'm doing the best I can. Sir, will we be following the map? Nope. Going after Rocket. You can call me Star Lord. Number one, Daredevil. Taking the top spot on our list is the initial Netflix original series that caught streamers and Marvel fans off guard. Set in the same universe as the MCU, this new imagining of the attorney by day, crime fighter at night superhero brings a whole new meaning to the phrase justice is blind. Put the gun down. Or I promise you, you'll never hold anything in that hand again. You bite your goofed off. <laughs> Following the same dark tones and crime drama approach as Jessica Jones, Marvel's Daredevil sees the guardian of Hell's Kitchen truly living up to the devil in his name, with adult-oriented narratives and bloodier confrontations. Who is this? I think you know. You've been asking about me. I thought it was time we spoke. Featuring a star-studded cast, incredible sets, and impressive effects, the show takes the same wonders found in Marvel's comics and films and beautifully repackages them for the small screen. Do you agree with our list? What are you talking about? Why should we believe you? Which Marvel-based TV shows are your favorite? Again, I don't flirt. I just say what I want. For more super top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.